Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're checking out the A-Labs Iron 192 microphone. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, A-Labs sent me this Iron 192 for a fair and honest review. And that's exactly what we're gonna do here. Taking a look at the back of the box, it says Ultra HD quality audio USB microphone with high resolution, 24 bit, 192 kilohertz. It also says it provides an incredible warm, rich and full tone that keeps your audience hooked. I'll let you be the judge of that one. It's got a gain control, a headphone output control. It's got a touch mute button, an aluminum body and it's plug and play. It's compatible with PC, Mac, iOS, and Android. Taking a look inside the box, the very first thing I see here is an owner's manual. Although the microphone is simple and straightforward to use, it's just plug and play. If you wanted to take a look at the entire specifications, feel free to pause the video. Underneath the instruction manual is a USB-C to USB cable, and it's got a USB to USB-C adapter on it. And interestingly enough, for you Apple users, there's also a USB adapter here for you. And under Underneath the instruction manual, the cables, and the adapter, we've got the Iron 192 microphone. The microphone comes pre-attached to a desk stand, and it can rotate up to, well, 360 degrees. However, if you wanted to take it off the desktop stand, you absolutely can. It's got a threaded base, and on the base, we've also got a USB-C connector and a headphone jack. On the front of the microphone, we have what I think is an all-metal body, and there's also a touch volume button. There's no pressing it in, you just touch your thumb to it, and it should work that way. And on the back of the microphone we have the volume gain knob as well as the headphone volume knob. So throughout the entirety of this video you've been hearing me through the Iron 192 and I have it about three inches away from my mouth. I have it offset just a little bit to help reduce plosives. But if I were to talk to it directly on and say something like popcorn pickle or popsicle, well let's hear how it filters it out. Popcorn pickle popsicle. The next test we'll do here is a proximity test to see how this microphone sounds close up versus far away. We'll start out far away here. I'll hold this about an entire arm's length away from my face and you'll probably hear a lot more echo. And then I'll bring it close up and see how it sounds very close. Now let's check to see how this microphone sounds at different angles. I'm going to rotate this microphone in a clockwise direction. I'm directly behind the microphone, I'm not in front of it. And you might hear a bit of noise from my hands handling this thing, so I do apologize about that. And now I am back in front. And also here, the mute button, you can see when I turn it away from me, it is glowing blue. So what I'm gonna do here is just press that mute button. I'll press it again and now you should be able to hear me. Now I've got some music playing in the background so you can hear how this microphone possibly sounds with some background interference. I'm going to turn up the music just a little bit, and I have two speakers directly behind the microphone, just on the left and on the right. I'm going to turn it up even more here, and do my best not to yell over the microphone because the noise in this room now is actually pretty loud. The next test here is to test this microphone and compare it against similarly priced microphones. Right now you're hearing me through the blue snowball ice. I've had this microphone for quite a long time now and it's priced very similar to the Iron 192. Now you're hearing me through the Comica STAU-1, and this microphone is priced just a little bit higher than the Iron 192, but not by much at all. My wife is actually a big fan of this microphone, and some of the people, actually a lot of the people who saw my review of this thing like the sound as well. Now I'm back on the Iron 192, and hopefully that gave you a fairly good comparison of some microphones in a comparable price bracket. So let's get into my likes, my dislikes, and whether or not I'd recommend the Iron 192. We'll start out here with my likes. First and foremost, I like the build quality of this thing. I was expecting it to feel cheaper than it did. To me, it feels a little bit more expensive than you're actually paying, which is a really good thing. I also like the features about this microphone. It's plug and play, it's got a gain knob, it's got a headphone volume knob, and it does have USB-C, and it's got threads here if you wanted to put this on a microphone stand. It does have a headphone jack, and it does have a touch mute button that works very well. Now in terms of how this sounds, this will vary from person to person, but at a microphone priced where it is, and we'll get to the price in just a second, I think this sounds absolutely fine. Now for what I don't like about this microphone, there really isn't a whole lot here. I mean, this microphone gives you quite a bit. Uh, the sound doesn't necessarily sound like an expensive microphone, but I wouldn't expect that based on the price. 
So overall, in terms of what I don't like factoring in the price, I don't really have many complaints. So before I get into my overall recommendation, let's take a look at the price. And this is exactly what I was talking about. As it stands right now, the A-Labs 192, the Iron 192, is priced at $29.99, $30. It's regularly $60 on for 50% off. At $30, heck yes, I think this microphone is worth it. At 60 bucks, it has some stiffer competition and you might prefer something else. You might prefer the sound of a different microphone. It'll be entirely up to you. But yeah, for 30 bucks, this is a feature packed value pick. Anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Shoutouts to A-Labs for providing the Iron 192 for a fair and honest review. Let me know your thoughts about the Iron 192 in the comments below. Do you like the way it sounds? Do you not like the way it sounds? And how do you think it's stacked up to the competition? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate. Save your state.